Hello everyone, this is Ace Stocky here. Welcome to another video of my Technic Pack Let's Play. This is going to be part 31. And so in between the last episode with the world upload and this one, what I've actually done is... Actually, I can fly now, so... I've just gone around and I've just put a little bit of protection around. So all the circuitry and everything inside is still the same and it all still works as per normal just now what I've gone and done is I've gone and set it up so I'm just gonna fly it's so much faster um, yeah I've just set it up so that it's enclosed and you don't have too many problems with it so what I would like to do is set up some gates to automatically turn these things here on and off but I don't think I have any on me so I'm not gonna bother about doing that now I'll deal with that later it can just do its own thing for now. What I am looking to do though is I'm looking to do some things with Millionaire. And before I do some things with Millionaire, there's just some stuff that I want to grab out of here. I want to make sure I have all of my wheat except for a bit. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm going to take all my wood and take a bunch of sand. It's probably a good start, and because I'm not going to be here for a while, I'm going to duplicate some diamonds. Because one of the things with Thorncraft is when you're duplicating, it actually lags quite badly with all these machines and duplicating going on, but it works with chunk loading blocks. So when you have a chunk loading block there, it basically has it in memory, but it doesn't have to do quite as many calculations with it, so it makes it Make sure there's nothing in here. So it makes it just a little bit better in terms of... I don't want to put that... That was not what I wanted to do. I'm glad the system doesn't pick up that particular item as being something that it can turn into something else. Um, so yes, what I was saying is, yeah, it doesn't have to do all of the exact calculations for what's going on. So it just happens a little bit quicker. So I'm just going to start this diamonds transmuting and I'm going to go to... Actually, I have one more thing that I want to do first. I'm going to put all of these items in my bag because they're just getting in the way at the moment. Well, I have lots of wood in there. I didn't realize I had half that much. I'm going to fill my bag up with cobble as well, because what I intend to do this episode is just focus a little bit on the Millionaire Village. Because the Millionaire Village can actually take quite a while to really do anything, so I want to get things started. Um, don't know how much cobble I'm going to need, so I'm just going to fill my bag up. That should be heaps. Now I know that I'm going to need... Millionaire villagers need certain things and they're pretty predictable as to what they need. So it's definitely going to need some glass. I'm just going to make a whole stack of glass for them. And they're going to need iron. So 63 iron. That's that's probably going to be enough to sell them. And I think they're going to need some wool as well. I haven't got any wool, but what I can do is... I know I train wool to the crafting table, but I don't know how much EMC it is. So I'm going to come over here just work it out so it takes uh, I better clear all this out okay so it is 48 48 I'm not sure exactly how that helps me how much is a wheat 24 okay so there you go so that's each piece of wheat is two wool no other around so um, let's just go stick 10 in and see how that goes. Whoops, that was not the button I meant to hit. That was. Okay, so yeah, 10, 10 wool should be... That should be enough to last me a while, I think. And now I've got some more wheat in here. And the reason I'm grabbing wheat is because the Millionaire Village kids will only grow up if they have wheat. So you need to have food for them so that they can grow and get bigger and you know, get stronger and that kind of stuff. And they need to have their resources to be able to make their buildings. So 
hopefully now if I just have to ignore that little bit of lag that's to do with the Thorncraft sounds. Okay, beautiful daytime. I'm gonna. I know I have a stack of marble here somewhere. There we go. Always carry a stack of marble with you, just to make sure that you have plenty of viz there that it doesn't end up emptying out on you. Now let's come up here and let's sell these people some stuff. So there we have a population that's currently six with no children. I'm going to try and get some children to happen. Who is going to serve me? Oh look at that, they need 18 iron. They need it and some glass as well. Are you selling to me? Ah, perfect. So let's sell on my stack of iron, my stack of glass, my stack of wheat. So there we go, now it looks like they have... wrong button. So we can right click on the sign to bring up this table of what they need for this forge they're making. So it takes a little while for that lacking resources to update, but you can see they now have enough. And go to the next page and that's all the stuff that they have. So they've got lots of wood and cobblestone and glass and bread and iron and all that sort of stuff now. So if I right click on this guy, beautiful. They're now willing to sell me things. So if I click buy petite terrain, basically what that's going to do is it's going to get me an area that's about the size of that house there which is going to be pegged out and fenced out that's going to be a little plot of land that I can you know grow crops and do that kind of stuff with so that's that's really cool and you can also do the next one which is a petite maison my French is really bad I'm sorry about that but it's basically a small house the thing with the small house though is to make a small house you need to have uh, a carpenter and so there's a carpenter's house built now, but if we look at the sign, currently empty. So what that means is we need them to have a child to make the population seven, and then we need that child to become a youth, and then the youth to move into the house and become an adult, and that's going to take time. So I don't exactly know how long it's going to take, but it'll take a while. So that's why I have brought... Um, where are my planks? Planks, 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 planks. Okay, I'm going to have to do it this way. That's okay. Um, crafting. That is why I have done this. I now have a bed. And why didn't you buy wool off me before? There we go. So now they've got wool as well, because I'm sure there's going to be something that they're going to need wool for later. And are you selling? Yes. Ah. So I've got to get all the stuff out of my bag before I can sell it. So let's just give lots of cobble. And to sell whole stacks at a time, you just control click on it. So then back to my bag. You have to be a little bit careful that sometimes if you click on one of the millionaire people with an item from a mod, like an alchemy bag, it doesn't register that you're clicking on them. It actually thinks you're clicking the item, so you have to be a little bit you have to be a little bit careful with that, just to make sure that you don't end up accidentally zapping them with some kind of magical power, from like an equivalent exchange item or something. So it's gonna oop, sorry, wrong button. It's gonna sort my inventory. Uh, sell lots more wood. Oh wow, look at that. I've now got a, a denier ore, as well as some denier argons and some deniers. So I've got heaps of money now to buy that, which is 10 of the silver coins. But like I said, if I buy it now, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to come up here saying that it's lacking resources. So I'm going to go put my bed down and have a look at maybe sleeping through the night. There's my bed. What have I got in here? Oh, heaps. Oh. See, I knew I had wheat somewhere. I brought a heat with me already. Okay, um... I want to hang around here because, you know, while it's daytime, which is yeah, heaps of day left, they're going to keep building. So I want them to build as much as they possibly can so that I can show you guys all the awesome stuff they do. So at the moment, you can see that it is currently upgrading the fort. So you can see just here, they've actually added a whole extra sort of room out the back here to this fort. That's not cool. 
particularly not cool if they decide they're going to try and eat any of my villagers, so... Come on, lions. Ah! Ah, not to, not to at once. Okay, this is going to go really badly. I did not know they could jump. Okay. Note for later. Don't mess with lions. Those things were like crazy aggro. Also note for future, double tap spacebar and I can fly. You, I'm going to kill you before you become a big lion. I've just killed your mum and dad, so I'm going to kill you as well. Don't leave orphans. Ooh, this crystal. Ah, I can fly. I don't have to worry about it. Ah, man. That was nothing like what I was hoping would happen. That there goes all of my stuff. And I didn't even kill the crystal. And the millionaire village is now stopped. Okay. Uh, at least I know where my death point is. Lagging. I wonder how I'm going for diamonds. Ten. That's a good start. Okay. It's nice that it remembers my death points up in the air. Not that it helps me, because without that ring... I can't fly. It would really suck if I had like died up the top of that building and I couldn't get back up there. Ah oh, man, my stuff's been scattered everywhere. Just gotta run around now and try and make sure I don't miss anything. I'm really going to need to put some more of this stuff. Where's my helmet? Ah, there we go. Well, wow, a couple of stuff went this far out. Got to try and fly around and check some things from some different angles. It all looks good. Once again, I have really no idea how much stuff I had, but at least I know that I got that back. So I can throw my important stuff back in the bag. Keep it out of the way until I need it, just in case I die again. Um, just going to sort my coins up in the top corner there. Don't need those for a while, don't need those, or that, or those. Uh, let's put my helmet back on. Actually, while I'm not getting attacked by anyone, let's see if I can repair this armor up quickly. Beautiful, that is repairing itself, so I can just wait a little while now. I wish I knew where that crystal went, though. Um, we'll look at that more. I oh, know these are actual cats, not angry lioness things. I wonder if that was the Viz Crystal that messed with me before. Um, I know somewhere here I've got a bow and some arrows. There we go. Awesome, I think that's an electrified Viz Crystal. Yes! That was the one kind of crystal that I didn't yet have. So now that I have that crystal, I can now go back and I can duplicate it and make some more, and I'll have everything I need to start you know, making generators and stuff like that. Oh, zombies and skeletons. You stupid creatures, you can't get me, I'm flying. And close the door. Thankfully, this isn't version 1.2, so they can't get in the doors. Ah, oh, man, I wasn't expecting that. Every time that head pops up, I'm going to shoot him in the face.
There we go. Got him. That'll teach him to mess with me. So it's raining and it's really loud at the moment. So what I'm going to do is sleep. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once I wake up. Okay, I'm back. It's morning. Unfortunately, it's still raining. And our zombie friend here has decided he wants to try and play with me this morning. So I'm just going to beat him with my sword of smite. Like that, just a little. And because the millionaire village is currently undergoing major construction, because I've packed them full of resources, what it is going to mean is it's going to mean there's going to be a bit of lag for a while. So uh, rain plus millionaire village building equals lag. Um, that's not the button I want. No, that's not the button I want either. Need to find... There we go. Waypoints. Oops. Remove. Remove. There's no point having a death spawn point when I've gone back and got all my stuff. Look at that. Population 7. That means... Children. One of. And because they have everything they need now, they should be... Yep. They almost finished the fort, but not quite. Where'd that slack woman go? Um, I don't have anything you want and you've only got the stuff I sold you so you're not very helpful don't want to buy that house yet not that it's going to help them because the whole back of their fort's open but ah uh, woeful shot I like to try and preempt them and get the jump on them so to speak but it never really works for me. Yeah, you're a bit late. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop the video for now. And I'm just going to let this millionaire village run for a while. And all I'm going to do is basically just sleep until night. And then sleep until morning again. And then we'll see how we go. See you know, what they've achieved in the time that I'm sleeping. So, back soon. Okay, so I've just slept through another day which is part of the reason why I'm super ultra hungry at the moment. So I'm just going to eat some food. I'm going to sort my stuff out here because I don't want all that crap in the way. Um, uh, no, that was where I wanted things. And now I'm going to go check their progress. They don't seem to have made very much. What's going on? Population 8. Oh, man. Wow. He just owned them. Um, they still have not yet finished upgrading the fort. Okay, well. I have... Ooh, broken sword. Okay, so see the... The bit in square brackets above her head just there? That means that she has a quest for me. So right click. My husband has broken his sword. Can you please give a new one to him? Accept. So you'll see that now I have a Norman broadsword in my equipment. And sure enough, look at that. There is someone who has a lost sword quest above their head. I can click on him and hit proceed. I gain reputation with his village and I gain some experience. So I wonder what my status is. There you go. I'm their favorite trader. They're all waiting for my return. That's awesome. What's not so awesome though is that this fort is not building and I'm looking and the girl who should be building it is nowhere to be seen. This is a a bit of a known problem with Millionaire that sometimes when you you sort of spawn chunks into the world or when you sleep, sometimes villages disappear. So what I've got to do is I've got to just log out and log back in and then hopefully she'll be back and she'll start building. What it does mean though is I pretty much wasted the last day because all that time I was sleeping she should have been building things and she wasn't so um, I'm just gonna log out and I'll be back soon. Okay sure enough logged out logged back in and I believe that's my builder gathering resources for construction yep so that's my builder so I have no idea where she went or why she went well look at this another broken sword oh and another person's appeared so once again, accept the quest, get the new broadsword, walk out the front here, and give him his sword. Man, that guy just breaks too many swords. What's really cool is now also because I have reached that level of uh, f ooh, friend of the village, I've got even better. 
So now that I've actually reached that level that's a little bit higher, I can now actually go here and I can hire guards. And so for 32 D, which is the coppery sort of coins a day, they will follow me around and they will protect me and they will fight bad guys. So that is awesome. But what's even more awesome is I've just noticed now a grand terrain is available and so is a Mason Burgos and so is a village scroll. Uh, so that, that that's really awesome. That means I can now buy not just a small house, but I can buy a big house, and not just a small plot of land, but I can buy a big plot of land. So I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is build the buildings in order. So once this... Oh, broken sword again. Look at that. That's actually not quite meant to happen like that. But I can get the same amount of experience from selling three stacks of cobble anyway, so it's not like it's really advancing me that fast. But what, what kind of happens is it randomly, kind of the way nether wart grows, where nether wart will randomly grow. It's the same thing with these quests. Every time Minecraft does like an update, so like once a second I think it is, it does a quick check of its statistics to see if there's a quest that needs to be developed and in the event that there is a quest that needs to be developed it kind of checks people and there's not very many people in the village at the moment so it will keep kind of going to the same people and then I don't know how it exactly works it out but once it works out that it does need to be a quest it works out who are the people that are suitable and does some things like that ah oh, man I can't okay as soon as I have enough diamond I am going to make myself a vulcanite amulet so I can turn this water on and off because this is just really annoying me now. I'm sick of it raining constantly and I want a way to turn the rain off without cheating. It has occurred to me a couple of times that I could just cheat and no one would know, but I'd know and that's that's not really, that's not really what I'm aiming for here. So yeah, I, I'm looking to use some equivalent exchange power items to basically play God and decide when it's going to rain and when it's not going to rain and that's going to be my thing that I do I don't actually need these seeds for anything but I'm going to be here at this village for a while so I thought I would just clear all this out and just get rid of it all because it's all annoying me every time I try to look to see what's going on I end up seeing just a thousand different things uh, I mean yeah a thousand different like pieces of grass. It'd be different if there was sheep here that were like eating them and stuff, but there's not. So, where's the sun? Obviously I can't tell because it's raining. So I'm just gonna... Actually, hopefully she should have finished building this fort by now. What's she doing? 97%. She'll be... She's bound to be around mm -hmm. here somewhere. That's most odd. Oh, another broken sword quest. Um, something is just going really, really odd here. There should be a little hatch here that takes me down into the basement once it's finished. And that's not here, so... She should still be building. But she's... Oh, there she is. She's building. And you, how did you get up on the roof? And why are you resting on the roof? And is anyone going to know if I knock you off? I hope not. Let's just go check with the guards and see if they notice that I did that. Because if you attack someone, they will just wail on you and they will just own you and kill you and you'll, yeah, you'll just die over and over and over and over. So, she's jumping up and down and doing something or other. Maybe if I come around the front... I'll be able to see what she's doing. Yeah, I don't exactly know what she's doing, but she's definitely doing something. As you can see that she's jumping up and down and making a mess of things, and that's gone up, so... I guess I just wait a little bit longer, and we'll see how things are going. What I want to do is I want to wait until the next thing they should do is they should start building a forge. Actually, I wonder if I can tell where they're going to build it. 
Map of the village. No, it doesn't look like it. Project Forge. Um. No, it doesn't say anything yet. So I guess I've got to wait until she starts building. Up to 100% now. So we should nearly be there. Shouldn't we? Oh, come on. How long can this take? I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back once she's finished. Okay, so that took way longer than I thought it should. But they've now said in construction forge. And you better right click on it. And it's... Uh, eight meters north of the village. So I think that means this way. That doesn't seem right. Oh, there she is. Um, so she's just knocking blocks out. Oh yeah, a couple of leaves disappeared off the tree then, so... Oh, there you go, she's actually just destroying that big tree up there. Just like they did with that one. So, yeah, I'm going to sleep again, and hopefully, once I finish sleeping, that should be built. Hope this works. I'll unpause the video once it finish. Actually, this is not going to take very long at all. I'm going to pause the video and be back in a second. Okay, I've paused it. Oh, sorry, I've unpaused it. It didn't take very long, and she didn't actually get finished. She dug out quite a bit more. But it's gone night time now, so what I'm going to do now is just sleep through the night, and that will hopefully let them breed this up and bring the children count up to three instead of two. And then they'll have plenty of places they can move into. So I think this might also be a... Actually, what I might do is jump back to my base, wait for everything to respawn itself back in, Okay, ever so slightly glitchy. I'm just gonna log off, log back in. And then I think once I've checked how many diamonds and things I have, I think I might call an end of the video. How'd we go? 61 diamonds. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking. That might be enough for what I want. Where did I put my dark matter? There we go. There's my dark matter target. Don't know how much I need for a piece of dark matter. I think it's a lot though. Yep, it is a lot. So let's just chuck all those in there and see how we go. I want three pieces. Not quite. Beautiful. Three pieces. So, actually I have a question for you guys out there who are watching. Should I make a gem of eternal density, which will take two pieces of dark matter, five diamonds and two obsidian? and will allow me to just go crazy mining and collect lots of cool resources or should I make a vulcanite amulet which takes three pieces of dark matter but will allow me to turn the rain on and off okay I have way more diamonds than I thought I did so I think I've already answered the question for myself I'm gonna make both I just need I need yeah it was five pieces of dark matter so now I have all the dark matter I need I just need three buckets of lava oh no it was six buckets of lava wasn't it it's okay still got plenty of diamonds So that's my six buckets of lava. And I needed some obsidian as well. I think I've got lots of obsidian. Yep. 
Okay, so Philosopher's Stone, where are you? Let's make some awesome stuff. So I think I need like that. And then two pieces of dark matter. And then... No, it must have been two pieces of obsidian. And five diamonds, that must have been what it was. Beautiful. One gem of eternal density. Uh, we'll get in a second to what that does, but now we want three buckets of lava, three pieces of dark matter, three more buckets of lava, and that gives me a vulcanite amulet. So, first thing I will do is I will show you... Actually, no, I think I will call this an end of the episode once I get back to the millionaire village. But what I will do is I will burn these buckets back up I don't need anywhere near that many buckets oh I'm learning empty buckets too didn't really want to learn empty buckets that's okay and so I can make another client star that's pretty cool and then it looks like oh, not quite two diamonds um, Just need to get rid of all this EMC that's in here. That's a thousand. Come on. I hate it when it gets down to fiddly little numbers like this. A piece of wood. A hoe. And a piece of netherrack. Never mind. I just wanted to make sure I got all my EMC out of there before I left. Yeah, so I'm going to jump back to the... Ne uh, tongue tied. I'm going to jump back to the millionaire village. And... I'm going to call an end of this episode and I will... Aha! Okay, it's going to be potentially a few moments before I can jump back to the millionaire village because my duplicator has sucked all the energy out of my system. Actually, that should be a shortcut to do it. It'll stop now because there's no energy going into it. But that should keep going. Okay, um... Ah, there you go, that's my problem. <laughs> I'm using up my marble faster than I'm creating it with this converter here. Um... That should help. It's probably a bit of overkill, so let's just put that in. That should, that should really make a big difference to start with. And then maybe I'll throw a piece of gold, that's going to give me 2,000 of them, maybe just an iron, yeah that should be, that should be getting things going a bit better, there we go, fully charged up, and I will deal with the consequences of what I've done a bit later on, particularly if I have to fly back here which will be really annoying, so, uh, thank you very much for watching everyone, Hope you enjoyed this episode and I, I'm hoping that I can do some more millionaire in the next episode and it won't be too boring. So again, thank you very much for watching. A Stocky out.